What's up, everybody? My name is John Miller, Associate Editor for IGN Xbox 360, and today we are looking at Call of Juarez. Now, if you like Westerns, I think you're going to really enjoy this game. It's from Polish developer Techland. It was released, actually, on the PC in 2006, and it's kind of a half-serious, half-tongue-in-cheek in look at American culture in the Wild West. And uh, for the most part, I think Techland did a great job. Now the story follows two characters, and each have their own special ability. There's Billy Candle, he's a young Mexican-American dealing with racism, town doesn't like him. He's a crack shot with a bow and arrow, also a sneaky little bastard able to hide in the bushes and the shadows. Kind of a master with a whip, he's able to swing on tree limbs and also whip off coyotes and giant spiders that may attack him in, in scary dark caves. Now Reverend Ray is Billy's self-righteous uncle. He's kind of a reformed, badass gunfighter turned preacher due to some events we'll get to in the story we don't want to spoil for you here. Now when Ray's brother and his wife are killed, some circumstances lead Ray to believe that Billy is the killer. And then this epic game of cat and mouse begins and it touches on just about every single Wild West cliche we have out there. There's that wise old Indian sage that's going to teach Billy some lifelong lessons. There's the sultry prostitute in the dirty saloon. Oh my. You have grown. There's also, of course, the lost gold of Juarez. Now, what's cool about Call of Juarez single-player games is that you actually trade off episodes with these two characters as Ray is hunting down Billy. As Billy, you're trying to escape, run away, use your stealth and platforming abilities to hide. Ray is trying to blast through every evil varmint in his path on his way to capturing his nephew. In terms of gameplay mechanics, there's some interesting things. Billy's actually really good with his bow and arrow, so. When you hold down that left trigger to aim, it'll go in slow motion. You'll see this great effect as the arrow actually flies through enemies' heads and just blood splatters everywhere. It's pretty gory. It's M for mature. Now with Ray, keep in mind he's a preacher. He always has his Bible at his side. So if you want to, you can actually equip that Bible, spout off some verses of Revelation, and you will literally put the fear of God in your enemies. Some of these guys will actually freeze and look up at you as they hear you talking about the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Of course, on the other hand, pull the trigger and deal justice. Ray also has a concentration mode. It's kind of the slow motion bullet time we've seen in a lot of shooters out there. Basically every 20 seconds you're gonna have the ability to draw your two pistols and two aiming reticules, one for each pistol, will slowly move together. And you can turn left and right and just start blasting guys in slow motion. It, it might feel a bit cheap, but I think the difficulty of the game is enough that the concentration mode doesn't come off as overpowering. And throughout the story, the two characters will combine for some nice variety of gameplay. You'll see some horseback riding, there's some all-out combat with Ray, a lot of stealth, a lot of platforming with Billy. And you have your basic kind of Half-Life 2-like puzzles. The game's not without its problems, though. Uh, you'll end up in a lot of trial and error situations. The objectives are not always clear. Sometimes in, in the puzzles, you're, you're not exactly sure what you're supposed to do. And after about five minutes, you'll be able to figure it out. But there are some times where you'll be stuck just looking around aimlessly. On the other hand, multiplayer is a treat on Xbox Live. You're able to control four classes. You can use dynamite and sniper rifles, and you can be a typical uh, gunslinger or a rifleman. There's a lot of uh, variety here. Some of the maps are pretty bland, others are, are pretty exciting, but you'll get a chance to ride on horseback in games that capture the flag, and I gotta tell you, there's nothing more satisfying than riding on horseback, equipping your sniper rifle, aiming about 200 yards across the map, and blasting your friend who's about to, to steal the gold. It's, uh, it's quite an exciting moment. Visually, the game does a lot of things well. You'll see some great draw distance, especially with the sniper rifle. Uh, a lot of great depth of field effects. There are a few problems, though. It will look washed out in night environments and in caves. Very hard to see. Uh, the sound is a nice cinematic score. There is a lot of cheesy voice acting that I think is done on purpose by Techland, but there is some uh, hilarious dialogue as you sneak around. Villains sitting around the campfire talking about their exploits. I don't want some coyote biting off my nutsack. How'd a coyote even find your tiny little nutsack? Overall, Call of Juarez is a good, solid effort from Techland. I think Western fans are really going to enjoy it. It's part cheesy, it's a little campy, a little B-movie-ish, but uh, I think you're, it's good for a few laughs, and there is some uh, definite fun gameplay variety to be had in single-player and multiplayer. We gave it a 7.5. Check out the full review at readigen.com.